Hello everyone and welcome back. We're here today to show you the SCM SIX class panel saw. This machine has a huge spec as standard but comes with a whole host of options. You've got a 3.2 meter sliding table which can be up to 3.8 meters. You get a 10 year guarantee on this. We have three digital crosscut stops along the crosscut fence. The blade can tilt 46 degrees in both directions. You have the 10 inch IS touchscreen here which shows all of the automated axes. You can have a 550 mil diameter blade which gives you a 200 millimeter cut depth. The rip capacity as standard is 1270 but you can up that to 1600 millimeters. All of that is automated by the 10 inch touchscreen. So let's show you how she works. So this is the SCM IS control. This is where you control all of the automated axes. So it's as simple as typing in, clicking on the axis that you want to move, type in the value you want it to reach, click the start button, the blue button on the side lights up, you click on that, and then everything moves to where you want it to go to. So now if you're gonna put in a new angle, type in the angle you want it to reach, press the start button, confirm that you've inserted the large hood, Press the blue button and everything moves to how it's supposed to. Now the scoring blade only comes up from underneath the surface when you turn the main blade on. So we'll show you that now. So we'll turn the main blade on and then the scoring blade and you'll see the numbers change and the scoring blade come up to whatever the desired position is. And then the scoring blade will track down below the surface as soon as you turn it off. So you also have the rip fence which is automated on this. So you, again, it's all as simple as typing in what the value you want it to be. Press the start button. Press the blue button. And you're ready to start ripping. So adding a new blade to your library, click on the toolpath here, plus symbol, type in the name that you want to give the blade. So this is where we're going to put in the maximum blade that you can have. Type in your diameter. And then it's important to type in the size of the teeth for your blade and the body. You can also put in declared sharpening hours, so as soon as that runs down, it will tell you the saw needs sharpening. You can then reset it once you've put a new blade on, um, but this just keep, helps keep you up to date with the sharpening of your tools to make sure they're cutting as they should be. So you can also put in a preset speed, whatever you want the blade to run at as standard, so you can have, see the maximum speed of the RPM on the blade and then run it as long as you're running it in that speed. The blade will always run at the selected speed, which you can adjust whilst you're running it. So here you have the three digital crosscut stops for the fence. So the one on the side here can move all the way up to 3.2 meters, giving you a maximum squaring capacity of 3.2 meters with this bed size. You have the two in the middle, which can move everywhere in between that. And then they also have a micro adjustment switch. So if you get it into roughly where you want it to be, you can then adjust them to exactly where you need them to be.
And there you have it. That is just a fraction of what the machine can do. If you're interested and want to know any more, just give us a call or email us at sales at scosarge.co.uk.